Welcome back to day two of CPHI. I'm here with Henny, a senior director at Lonza. Thank you very much for speaking to us today, Henny. Thank you for coming. Thank, can you just introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about your role? So, yeah, so my name is Henny Zelstra. Um, I'm a senior director of marketing for Small Molecules. Um, uh, well, I am here with all my colleagues from the CDMO business and also from the CHI, from the capsules business. Thank you. So. Henny. Lonza is known for their late face and high volumes. Is this still correct? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, we are obviously working with big pharma and large volumes because that is, that is what we do. But we have expansively expanded in the early phase, specifically on both API as well as drug products and particle engineering. We are focusing more and more on the small biotechs uh, than, uh, than we've done before. And uh, we do see as well that this is, uh, this is uh, now something that the industry is not yet aware of. So yes, we are more and more focusing on the small biotechs and the growth comes also from, uh, from them. That's super exciting. So what is the difference from working with a small biotech rather than a large company? Yeah, it's it's it is a big difference. Also, if we if we look at our if we look at how Lonza has changed, how we've adapted our uh, our internal models for that, um, I would say the small biotechs they have more um, uh, in sourcing needs, so they they are looking more for more consultancy. A larger part of their portfolio is outsourced, so when they come to us, they come to us earlier. They look they are looking for more support, so more consultancy. They are looking really to bring their molecule to the next phase through the whole project. So. Usually with the large pharma they're looking for one part of the development and the, small model, uh, the smaller biotechs are looking for a partner who supports them through the whole life cycle. So that is a, that's a big difference I would say. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you. And lastly, what trends do you see coming for the future of the industry? So the trend is, is of course it's a bit of uh, how do you say looking into the future but when we when we look at how it's been, what we've seen the last uh, the last couple of years is increased complexity um, so more uh, more highly complex so uh, more steps in uh, when it comes to the API more complex harder to um, to progress molecules then on top of it there is an issue with the solubility so more molecules between 70 and 80 percent of the molecules have solubility issues so this is also why we are specialists on bioavailability enhancement where we we also step in so it is a mix between basically complexity and on top of it on speed so we do see the trend really to speed to market it's more important than ever especially for the bio for the smaller biotechs because they do realize that they have only one or two molecules and they want to go to market as soon as possible for the patient's needs obviously and also for their next milestones in uh, yeah, for their financial milestones basically so that's what we see more complexity faster to market and more needs for uh, yeah for CDMOs like Lonza basically. Well it sounds like you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> Henny, <laughs> Henny, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure and thank I hope you. you enjoy the rest of your time at CPHI. Thank you very much. I hope to see you soon next time.